Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us in another video today. My name's Cora and this one's gonna be really good because we're gonna get these two parts of our right hand drive project welded together. We started working on it about a month ago, roughly. Uh, we're very proud of the progress that we've made so far. I know it's nowhere near finished, but to get it to this point is just really exciting. Uh, we both work day jobs and we are very dedicated parents. So it's hard to find time to actually work on this stuff. Um, there's a lot of late nights and any spare chance we can on the weekend, we're after it. That's why my footage is usually all jumbled up and I'm wearing different outfits and stuff like that because we don't get to work on this for very long periods of time at one time. Um, we just kind of have to do what we can when we can and make it work. Well guys, let's get this thing put together. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Let me show you all the hard work it took to get there. So a really useful tip whenever you're getting sound deadening off the floor is mixing up dry ice and 90% rubbing alcohol together and then just spreading it out like you see here. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and after that it should be able to just start chipping away and coming off pretty easily. Luckily it worked and as you can see from our lovely pile of scrap metal we were able to get the floor trimmed out of it. The next thing we need to get done is just trim off a few extra pieces of metal and smooth up the edges. Um, we also need to drill holes where you see all these green dots. That's going to actually be the seam, like it's going to overlap onto the front clip and that's where we're going to actually be making our spot welds. This disaster is some good. <laughs> we ended up getting the windshield ready to go. We just grinded out all the rust and luckily there weren't any holes or anything. It was just all basically coated in rust. But we, after we grinded out the rusty stuff we just covered it in pour 15. So we're saving these two pieces. That way we can replace the rusty parts in this front clip. This side's really bad. We just finished up getting the corners welded on and we covered them with this pour 15. It's the same stuff that we put on the windshield pillar. It basically just prevents the rust from coming back. I wanted to point out to you guys how the car is going to fit together, like talking about welding. Um, these parts that are sticking out on the bottom, they are going to go underneath this car, about right here. It's going to overlap a little bit. Um, the floor from this car is going to be overlapping the front clip. So once 
all of this is overlapped. We're going to just weld together the whole floor seam. And then this side over here, it's going to be ending up over here, lining up with this. And we're going to weld it on that way. We ended up using this U-Pole weld through primer. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that we got all of the edges covered on both parts of the Type R. That way, whenever we bring it together and are actually about to weld it, we're not having any problems. Alright, so this right hand drive is almost put together. You just gotta wiggle it around a little bit more. We just made it out to the storage and all these parts that you see are about to be loaded up into the truck. That way we can take them back to the house. Um, all these pieces and panels need to be fitted onto the Type R and just make sure that all the spacing is going to be looking great and everything just fits before we actually weld it. Alrighty guys, I'll see you back at the house and we'll start unloading this stuff. I just wanted to show you guys the first few welds that were done on the Type R. Um, luckily, our brother came over to kind of start us out, point us in the right direction. He welds a lot more than we do. fam i'm gonna end the video here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already share the content um, i'm really happy the channel's growing a little bit each week and i appreciate all of y'all support thank you so much i'll see you in the next one